What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and trust me, this is an exciting one. Today we're gonna be reviewing the brand new ModMic Wireless. This is a wireless microphone, which is gonna be fantastic for if you're streaming, talking to your friends or whatever, you don't wanna add another cable to your desktop, you attach a wireless mic to your headphones or headset, and you're good to go. This could be great for, you know, a VR microphone or placing your current crappy microphone on your headset or adding a wireless mic to your pair of headphones. So I'm sure by now a lot of you are familiar with Antlion and their mod mic lineup. Reviewing the first mod mic a few years ago is actually like one of my first reviews on this channel, believe it or not. And until now, I've never really seen a solution like this that's not something like, you know, a wireless lav unit. So inside the box is a carrying case and right in there is gonna have all your stuff for you. Obviously you have your microphone unit. We'll go over this in a minute. You get a pack of rubbing alcohol pads, plus some 3M adhesive clamps for sticking them to your headphones. You have a USB receiver, then a micro USB charging cable, plus a USB extension cable. And taking a look at it, it is very simple. This is all it is right here. It attaches right to the side of your ear cup, and you just have one button on here, which is gonna be for things like pairing it, muting it, and stuff like that. Then on the actual microphone capsule is a little button for switching between the unidirectional mic pickup pattern and the omnidirectional pattern. And in terms of compatibility, obviously it works for your PC, a Mac, Linux, and even your PS4. So you can plug this in and use it as a wireless mic for your PlayStation. Now this weighs only 26 grams, which is still pretty light, but obviously you're gonna to want to properly apply this to your ear cup so it doesn't ever fall off. Like I showed you inside the box, it give you the rubbing alcohol pad. So use that to rub the side of the ear cup down where you're gonna be applying this. Then when you put on the magnetic clamp, it says to let it cure for an hour or overnight for best results. And that's what I did because since I do have the open grill here on this open back pair of headphones, it sticks just fine, but the longer you let it cure, the better it's gonna stay. So just keep that in mind. I know you might wanna use this right away, but just let it sit overnight. That'll give you the best results so it's not constantly falling off. Then as you can see, it's there already, good to go. You can adjust it and stuff like that. Before we move on, I just wanna talk about how you pair this and stuff, and it's really, really simple. Literally all you do is plug in the USB receiver into an available USB port. You'll see the blinking blue light. And then from there, use the included micro USB cable to connect your mod mic to your PC. Then you just press the button on the actual mod mic and it'll automatically pair. Now one thing that I like is on the actual receiver itself and the mod mic, you can see those corresponding lights. And that's because obviously when it's on the side of your head, you won't be able to see the lights and what's going on. So it reflects onto the receiver. So blue means it's paired. If it's flashing blue, it's pairing. Once you uh, mute it, it'll be red, receiver will be red. And then when it's you know getting low battery and stuff, this will be orange and you'll see that also on your receiver. Now I'm just gonna do a mic test real quick before I get into you know my experience and my thoughts on it because the mic test, if this hasn't sold you already, that probably will. All right, so now you're hearing a completely raw, unedited mic test from the Mod Mic Wireless. And this is currently set in the unidirectional pickup pattern. So it's gonna do its best at kind of eliminating any background noise and focusing on my vocal pickup pattern. Uh, also, I'm gonna do some clicking and typing in the background. I'm around maybe, I don't know, 16 inches away from my keyboard and my mouse. So when you're a PC game or something like that and you're at your desktop, you can kind of gauge how this sounds currently at uh, eliminating that. But altogether, from what I heard, this sounds really, really good, I think. Um, and I really have no complaints right now. Um, what I'm also going to do is just do uh, complete silence so you can just hear what the, you know, the blank sound floor is going to be for picking up um, nothing. And judging by my reading, it wasn't peaking. There was no levels moving at all. So should be pretty good. And now I just switched it over to omnidirectional. So this is gonna be uh, picking up, you know, more of around you, just like a general, you know, your area, <laughs> if you can put it that way. Uh, so you're gonna be hearing a little bit more of the background noise, like I said, with my keyboard and my mouse, because that's what it's designed to do. So uh, before it suppressed it pretty well, I think, and now you're gonna notice it a little bit, uh, it's a little bit louder in the background, but again, that's, that's this overall job. But I don't think the overall audio quality is negatively affected at all. A lot of times when you put it in uh, unidirectional, it kind of suppresses it a lot and it kind of just sounds farther away or a lot quieter, but I don't think that was the case in either situation here. So both pretty good. And again, this is the omnidirectional and I will be silent so you can hear uh, the bass floor of no audio.
also pretty much nothing when it comes to the level. So both very impressive mic tests, I think. I've heard it before. I did my test before this recording right now. Very, very impressed with the Mod Mic Wireless. This is really good for a wireless microphone. And now to take the comparison one step further, I'm going to compare it to the Corsair HS70, which is pretty much my go-to wireless headset if I were to use one. So you can hear the difference now uh, between the Mod Mic Wireless and a wireless gaming headset and how this sounds with the built-in mic. Obviously, uh, built-in microphones on wireless headsets typically aren't too good. So that's why I'm doing this, to give you that comparison so you can see and hear the difference more so. Um, and as you'll see with visual cues, I'm showing which mic I'm currently using, have them both recording at the same time. So it should give you a good idea of the differences between the sound quality. And the, uh, the mod mic is currently in the unidirectional pickup pattern. And like I would if I were PC gaming, I'm uh, typing on my keyboard and clicking on the mouse in the background so you can get a good idea of how it does at eliminating that background noise and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, this is a little comparison for you guys. All right, so I've been using this for around a week. Didn't tell any of my friends I was playing online with and they had no idea I even switched because typically I use a USB powered mic, which is from Audio-Technica, my AT2020. Started using this and they had no idea. And that's great because that's a really good sounding mic. And so is this. And that's pretty much the main reason why people might want to buy a wireless mic is because like I showed you in the comparison, nine times out of 10, the microphone that comes on your headset already is crappy, sounds like garbage. This sounds 10 times better. And then even so, if you don't want to have that extra microphone on your desktop already, you put this on, no extra cables, which is why it's even a big improvement over their previous mod mic uh, microphones because you know those you also had to plug into your PC. No cables, a wireless solution, completely awesome. And I'm so happy we have something like this now because really, like I said before, nothing like this exists other than something like a wireless lav unit, which can cost like anywhere from a few hundred dollars and up. But those are for like, you know, plugging into a camera or like an audio interface for XLR. This avoids all of that and it sounds great. And I even said it in the beginning, but for people who you know still play VR a lot, this is a great solution for that because now you don't have to have another cable amongst all the other mess of cables for VR. This just works flawlessly with it. Now, one thing that they advertise I saw is like the ultra low latency and stuff like that. Um, I never noticed an issue with latency with previous mics before and obviously not with this either. So that all checks out. Another thing to bring up is the, uh, the battery life. That's obviously gonna be important for a wireless mic. They said it's averaging, I think 12 hours is the expected battery life. If you're using this for like two, three hours a day, that holds up. Uh, for the past week, I probably averaged around two, three hours a day. And then just yesterday, I charged it for the first time all week. So that checks out. And I typically don't game for more than like three or four hours a day as it is um, online, talking to friends and stuff like that. So charge it once a week and you should be fine. So breaking it all down, this is literally like changing the game. I said it before, if your wireless headset has a crappy mic, you attach this to it and you'll be much better off. Or if you're like me and you use a pair of headphones 24 seven, now you can attach a wireless mic to that and you'll be good to go also. Uh, these, this is not a wireless pair of headphones. I just don't have the cable attached to it, but you get the idea. The sounds, it, I think it sounds great on both the Omni and unidirectional. Zero interference with anything. It sounds better than any other wireless mic I've used before or any other, you know, microphone solution like that I've used before, I think. Um, so the only kind of downer is gonna be the price. It's 120 and that's, it's expensive, but at the same time, not really. Because again, there's nothing like this out there right now. There's nothing that's gonna give you this great of a sounding quality for a similar price either, unless, like I said before, it is a USB desktop solution. So it's kind of hard to complain considering, you know, the options out there. There are none. This is the answer. Um, and again, if you have, like me, a pair of audiophile grade headphones that you use, you can probably, you know, expend that extra 120 bucks and add it to your headset, or now your, your headphones making it a headset, which would be, you know, making a 10 times better of a gaming headset out there than currently exists. So I am a huge fan of this. Big, big thumbs up to uh, the Antlion company for putting out a wireless mod mic. Highly recommend it. And guys, that'll wrap it up for my review of the Mod Mic Wireless. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.